Russell, you open the game with, with some aggressive defense on Ricky Rubio. Uh, you pick up that third foul uh, pretty early. Uh, did you think that you should have come out at that point when, when you picked up that third foul? Uh, it wasn't my decision. Uh, I come out when I'm actually come out. But I don't think that third foul was a foul on me, though. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh, Russell, again, um, did you feel like your aggressiveness was was appropriate to defend Rubio with uh, in this game tonight? What do you mean? Uh, in the sense that you know you picked up two fouls pretty early in terms of the aggressiveness you were using on them, and um, you oh, know. well, it's not about me or him. Let's let's oh. get past that. We done with that. Yeah, Barry Trammell with the Oklahoma. Uh, Paul, the game got chippy early and seemed to stay that way. A uh, couple of skirmishes, a lot of technical fouls. What kind of effect did that have on the game? Did you think? Um. None. You know, that's just what you're going to get with a playoff team. Um, it's playoff basketball. You know, it's, it's going to get chippy. It's going to get physical. Um, you know, we we uh, we in it for the fight. Dean Blevins, News 9 Sports. Um, Russ, how much is it about just missing shots as a group? Uh, I think you had three threes for the longest time. And how much is it about maybe getting better shots? It just seems like they get better shots than you guys. Uh, we're just missing some open shots as well. Um, they get some open ones um, and, and making them right now. But uh, we're going to keep creating and getting shots for each other and uh, go from there. Eric Horn, the Oklahoma. Now, Russell, what was successful for you all early against Gobert tonight? It seemed like you all had some more success attacking him, particularly with, with Steven, and you also found him for a lob as well. Uh, just attacking the basket, going downhill. It's important for us uh, to do that, you know, all game long, keeping the pressure um, at the basket. Fred Katz, Norman Transcript. Carmelo, when you're, <laughs> when you're not making shots like tonight, what can you do to, to stay effective? Well, <clears throat> try to stay engaged into the game. Uh, Offensively, can you know continue to take those shots, and uh, you know that's that's something that you can't control whether the ball go in or not. Uh, and you know, I think for the most part, just continue to stay engaged, you know, for the whole game, both ends of the court, uh, and and not just focus, not just worry about whether you're making shots or missing shots. Melo, you said after game three that th this one would be a test for you guys to kind of see how you guys responded. Obviously, it didn't go the way you necessarily wanted to, but what's your mindset now going to game five after not responding the way you wanted to? Uh, we, well, we got to win. I mean, there's it, nothing to it. Uh, it, it we just got to win. I mean, we could sit here and try to and say what we got to do and what we, <clears throat> what we didn't do and what we did do, but it comes down to having the will to win that game on Wednesday and <clears throat> forcing the game six back here in Utah and, uh, you know, and, and taking it from there. But most importantly, Wednesday is a, is a very important game. I think we all, we, we all know that. Russ, I wanted to ask you about the foul trouble. You, know, you start the second <coughs> half with four fouls. Did that change your approach? Did you, you – I know you, you started out guarding Joe Ingles there. Did that kind of change the way that you were approaching? Uh, a little off? bit. A little bit, obviously, um, you know. Being, not being on, being on the ball uh, takes a little bit of aggression away. But, uh, you know, things like that happen in the game, and you just got to figure out how to play with it. Yeah, Paul, you guys had a solid win game one. Um, game two, tight loss. Game threes and four gotten progressively worse. What can you do to, to turn it around? Play like we played game one, um, you know. Um, they're, uh, I mean, they're, they're just making tough shots. Um, they're making big plays. Um, you know, as Melo said, uh, you know, this this game five is uh, obviously a must win. But um, you know, it's at this point, uh, you know, this this is, I think us three, this is what we want. Um, not necessarily be in this position, but uh, to to you know, at this point, give it everything we got. Um, that's that's all it's going to take. Uh, approach this game like it's game seven, and um, you know, see what happens there. Keep our uh, you know this playoff run alive, uh, but approach it like it's game seven. 
Paul, you guys had a stretch from like the beginning of the second quarter into the beginning of the fourth where you didn't have an assist for almost two full quarters. What was the issue with ball movement during specifically that stretch of the game? Um, nothing. I mean, we, we were picking rolls and, you know, we had a, a big in front of us, make a play at the rim. Um, you know, not all of that is, is you know, is, you know, we missed shots. Um, that's, that's all it came down to. You know, we, we just missed shots um, and, you know, we missed plays at the rim. Did you guys come into game four uh, trying to trying to play with playoff physicality and, and kind of with that experience or was that just kind of how the game played out? Who you asking? Uh, <coughs> let's go with Russ. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Wrong person. Next time I'll be better. Paul, you talked about this morning about being the aggressors on both ends of the floor. Did you think you did that? How much of it was just missing shots? And as the game went on and you were behind, did you think you were able to sustain that, or did that dip as the game went on? No, nah, we we were we were aggressive. You know, we was in attack mode. We was aggressive. We missed shots. Um, you know, I don't think all season long we've finished the game with only five three-pointers. We, we missed shots. We was aggressive. We got to the free throw line. We won that battle. Um, you know, nothing more. You know, we, we, we were aggressive. We, were, we played where we, where we needed to um, as far as aggression.